Hi, scientists. All right, this is gonna be my video for the flood simulation um, for you to watch and gather data. If you did not build your own um, and test it, uh, you need to watch this video and collect the data in your notebook um, on the table that we talked about in class. So um, make sure that you're filling that out and I am, we will talk about this um, on Thursday, Friday of this week and kind of see what it is that we can tell. But before I get into the simulation, what you need to do is in your drawing, the top drawing in that page, you need to uh, take three colors and you need to identify where do you believe in my model, where do you believe that it is going to flood the first, where do you believe it's going to flood second, and where do you think, think it's least likely to flood, okay? So first, second, I mean, I mean, which is most likely to flood, which is next likely to flood, and then which would be least likely or where would be least likely to flood, okay? So you're gonna color in the model, uh, the image uh, based on my model, and I'm gonna kind of show you, uh, I'll do a top-down picture of my model so that you can kind of take a look and go ahead and pause the video and see if you can color in yours based on what it is that you're looking at right here. So, all right, our first roll gave us one cup of water. So I am going to drizzle one cup of water over. drizzling over kind of represents a rainstorm over the entire model. All right, so that's one cup. Go, go ahead and pause it and take a look at uh, what's flooded so far and uh, we'll move on in a minute. Okay, my next roll gave me zero cups. So I am not gonna put any more on and then my Third roll, oh, gave me one cup. So I'm gonna put another cup on here. All right, go ahead and pause the video and kind of observe where flooding is taking place right now. And total, so that was one rain event. We've got um, two cups of water total for one rain event, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and shade in your first trial, uh, your first rainstorm, and uh, we'll move on to our uh, next rainstorm. All right, so our first roll, we had two cups. And I am going to speed this process up and do two cups fairly quickly. All right, so there is two cups of rain um, on the model. I'm going to roll again. And that gave me one cup. So here is one cup. All right, and my third roll gave me zero cups. Okay, so uh, pause the video, and this is our second rain event, and uh, identify where flooding has occurred, shade in um, everything that's flooded versus not flooded, uh, maybe the houses that are uh, still uh, not underwater versus ones that, man, it would suck to be them. Um, okay, go ahead and pause. All right, now with our third rain event, the first um, roll gave me three cups of water. So I'm gonna quickly put three cups on. One, Two and 
three. Okay, so there's our first roll. Second roll gave me zero cups. Okay, and our third roll oh, gave me two more cups. All right, so I'm gonna quickly put two more cups on. There is one. And there is two. All right. So again, so this is our third rain event. Go ahead and pause the video and um, shade in your observations, shade in the um, picture on your OneNote page and go ahead and write down what observations you're seeing. Um, as well as there's a couple questions uh, below the table that also need to be filled in as well, okay? So this is our third rain event and we've done three different examples. Um, our first one, I think we had two cups. Our second one had three and this one has four cups of rainwater on it. So um, you can finish up the uh, table and answer some of the questions and be ready to discuss and share out um, talking about our findings on Thursday or Friday in science. All right, hope you have a good Wednesday. Take it easy.